Hello, this is Jeff Chudai with Deep Root Irrigation. Here we are installing a DRI unit, and I've got Mike Emmerich here from Gar Bennett, and he's gonna do a demonstration how to install a DRI unit on a mature almond tree. So uh, where are we putting the emitter, Mike? About two feet from the tree. Okay, so that's where the emitter's going. Is that where the DRI unit's gonna go? No, DRI unit's another two feet. Okay, so DRI unit on this size tree, since we've got eight feet from the base of the tree to the edge of the canopy, we're gonna put the DRI unit about halfway, which is four feet, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, go ahead and uh, place the uh, emitter. Why are you putting it on the side? Prevent air from getting up in in yeah. through the, the tube and down into the unit. Okay, so very good. So we always make sure that we've got the, uh, the hole punch on the side of the hose and you're attaching a uh, DRI unit that already has a two gallon per hour emitter, is that correct? Yes. Okay, very good. All right, so we put one of those on either side of the tree. All right, so right now, we're just gonna leave this DRI unit laying here because when we turn the water on, we wanna be able to see water coming out of the DRI unit and we wanna be able to see that all of them are working perfectly before we insert them into the ground. So what we have here is a DRI unit that's weeping. Okay, now it's setting on the surface of the ground. So now we know it's working. I'm thinking right about here is a good place. And I'm making the hole, I want actually want to be straight up and down for the tree. I'm, I'm making the hole deeper than it needs to be. I want to give that a little bit of a wiggle. Make sure nothing falls back down. Here. So now Mike from Gar Bennett is going to go ahead and complete the installation. So we already have the hole punched. Go ahead and put that in the ground. And you want to have about three inches, a quarter inch tubing going down in the ground with it. So, and then you want to close up that hole real tight. Pack it down nice and tight so we build up pressure underground. Very good. Okay, and then disconnect it from the emitter and, and work your way backwards. That's what I did on the previous one. That didn't work too bad. Okay, there you go. Perfect wrap, perfect install. That was Mike Emmerich with Gar Bennett. Okay, it's been about 10, maybe 15 minutes since we turned this on. Remember we stuck that emitter in the ground, it was weeping, and uh, now we have a wet spot. And we got a little bit of foam there, that foam means that we pushed some air through the system, and now we have a wet spot, but that wet spot lets us know that we're putting water in the ground slightly faster than the ground will absorb it, which is good, that means we're building up pressure, and that's building up our bulb of saturation underground. So that's what you wanna see. You wanna see that wet spot, and you wanna see it probably last for several hours before it starts to get bigger than that. And uh, once it starts getting really big, they'll all be getting big at the same time, Time, and that's the time to turn the water off. Here we are with Mike Emmerich. He's getting ready to put a stake at the end of the row here. This is a row of almond trees that are using DRI. The irrigation hose has got a vent on the end of it. So he's going to go ahead and put the stake in so we can raise the end of the hose with the vent on it. So it vents out the air once we turn the system on. So he doesn't have to pound that down too deep, just a little ways there. And uh, then he's going to put that up there and he's going to put some zip ties on it to hold it in place. So two zip ties ought to do it. So it keeps it from twisting once the thing turns on. Once it turns on, there's gonna be a certain amount of torque to that hose. And if he's got two zip ties on it, it's gonna hold it stable. So, uh, okay, there's one. And put one down a little bit lower and he's in, gonna be in business. Okay, that's it. So that is, that's how you do it. What you're seeing right here is a vent of the irrigation row. Look here, you can see that it's a little orange nipple that pops up when uh, the water gets there and it closes it up. So that orange nipple lets you know that it's a high pressure. That means it's got a stronger spring in there. If it's got a white nipple, that's for low pressure and it's much easier for it to close. Typically, I like for people to use the white nipple for the low pressure because that'll work in all circumstances. This is very important. This uh, device is not optional in a DRI install. Right, if you get this on here like this, then you're ready to go. Thank you for your time. Jeff Chudai here signing off now, Deep Root Irrigation.